My dear friends, we love you so very much, everything you have manifested in your life, intentionally or not, can be turned into something good. Even the most unwanted situations you have inadvertently allowed or attracted can be changed for your benefit. The fertilizer can grow roses. The illness can lead to an enhanced quality of life in the future, or bliss beyond reason in heaven. The ugliest relationship you've ever experienced can drive you more deeply into self love. The death of a loved one can catalyze an entire spiritual journey and your own awakening to mystical abilities. Did you create this unpleasantness to catalyze your growth and lessons? Not really, dear ones. While there are cases when you and other souls decide to help each other grow in some tough ways, God never plunges you into darkness so you can find the light. The angels never guide you into challenging situations so you can find your strength. You by your decisions to dance with other souls and by your vibration attract and allow vibrational matches. It is that simple in concept. In reality, your most challenging job is bypassing old conditioning, which teaches you to act first. As you learn to shift your vibration first, your life will continue to progress with ever-increasing ease. Suppose you want a relationship. You feel desperate. You've wanted one for some time, and they're not here. You're emanating frustration, fear, doubt, and lack. You don't realize that you've tuned into the exact opposite of all you desire much of the time, and so, in your frustration, you join an online dating site and begin the hunt. At best, you will attract no one. You'll more likely attract others in a similarly frustrated space who want you to make them feel better. You found vibrational matches. Despite current frustrations, you can shift your vibration and turn this to good. You can tune back into love more consistently, focus on the delicious anticipation of the love you want to share, and, in so doing, change everything. Likewise, suppose that after years of stuffing feelings, criticizing yourself, or feeling upset, you develop an illness. You weren't given this illness to develop strength or to heal and help others. You just pinched off the love that was trying to flow to you on numerous small occasions, eventually taking a toll on the body. It is much the same as if you cut off the water to your plants a thousand times a day, and eventually, it begins to wither. However, here is the good news. You can change your vibration to one of love, in that frequency, even the most serious illnesses can shift into a profoundly beautiful reality. A more difficult scenario is when someone you love dies or is going through a hard time. You didn't create their reality. You can't uncreate it for them. You came together in a mutual vibration of love and a desire for expansion and growth. Each of you has chosen consciously or not to attune to different realities and, therefore, create different outcomes. You don't control their vibration or their choices, and they do not control yours. So here you are, drawn together by love and a desire for expansion. Suppose you have tuned to love and created an easier path. Perhaps they were so hard on themselves that the only way to expand was to leave this brain and body behind and return to the glory of their soul. Perhaps they decided before birth to leave early and catalyze expansion for all. You have both grown. You have both expanded. You both love. But as a human being, you hurt. You miss them. We understand. Even this, dear ones, can be turned into good, gently, slowly, and organically. The more you can shift away from the unpleasant emotions by focusing instead on how much you love, how magnificent your love is, and how deeply you care the more you will feel your connection with your dear ones in spirit. If you can appreciate the love in your own heart, you will feel their love for you. Likewise, when you have a friend or family member who is suffering, focus on your love, their light, and all that is good in life. You will become a strong, positive, energetic influence if you can do this. Your influence does not come from words or deeds but rather from you being in a space of confident belief in their goodness and eventual success. You become a tuning fork for their benefit. 
No matter how good or how challenging your life, tuning to love will shift reality and turn even the most difficult situation into good. Care about yourselves enough to reach for what feels better one thought at a time and in so being, you will create more good than all the doing in the world can do for you. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels